What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dubex. Um, today I'm here with this eye candy, aka Miss Sweets. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 20. Okay. All right, y'all know what it is. Same deal as always. First question right out the gate: Does a woman have to be a freak to be, or have to be a hoe to be a freak, or can a lady be a freak too? A lady can be a freak. I know you know I'm Obama. Obama's wife ain't no, she ain't no freak. Come on now, they've been married for so long. You gotta be a freak, you know? Keep the marriage going. Okay. And most, of, most professional women are married. Right, right. Okay. Damn. That's a, that's a different answer. I mean, my mama, she professional. I know my mama a freak. I get it from her. <laughs> I've seen her in action. Hell no. Nah. Okay, Hell that's nah. what's up. All right, Um, I guess we're gonna get into specifics with you then. What is it, you know what I'm saying, that in your opinion, I guess, would give you the title as being a freak? Because I'm not scared to do anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing I haven't done, so. Okay. Okay. But I just be walking around here, like, putting it all out there like that. Right. So, <laughs> so like I said, I always say this in every, almost every interview that I do, you know what I'm saying, the answers here don't mean that this is shit that just anybody would get. You know what I'm saying? It's shit that you do, but just not necessarily for anybody. Okay. All right. So give me a little detail. Give me give me something that you've done or some things you do that maybe most females are scared to do or scared to admit that they've done. Had a threesome with two dogs. Or had a threesome with two dogs. Or taking it to an egg. Okay. That's... Shit. I did that when I was 14. I was 14. Okay. I ain't shit to be scared of. Me people do the shit. If you thought about it, you want to do it anyway. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. I guess I'm going to start asking you the direct questions now. Let's start with head. Obviously, you said ain't really nothing you haven't done. So when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, you giving the guy head or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and he get ready to come. You know, most dudes, we like to be all just out there with We like nasty, like extra nasty shit. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what what's some of the stuff that a guy's asked you to do that you've done? I'm going to have to say that it will come on my face. Okay. Can't think of nothing else. That's really about it because catching that shit. I don't like to do it because, you know, everybody that don't taste the same. <laughs> so. Okay. So how is that different? That's something that we haven't heard on the interviews before. Like, how is that different? Like, what differences are there as far as taste and shit like that? Girl? I mean, everybody that don't taste the same. If everybody know about your body, like, if you drink a lot, that shit gonna be in your neck. If you smoke hmm. a lot, it's really not. But you would taste the sourness. And everybody that don't taste the same, you can't catch everybody. Okay. Everybody that can't go in your mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. It's not the business. Okay. So. Give me, um, I don't know, I'm going to get to this question early with you. When it comes to size, length or width, you like them thick or you like them long? If you had to pick one. Oh, I can't pick because everything don't feel the same. <laughs> okay. Everything don't feel the same. But on average, like if you had to pick something on average mm -hmm. that, that felt good for you just, you know. If, like, you had two different dudes, they fucked exactly the same, but one of them just had a longer dick and one of them had a thicker dick, which one of them would do it for you? Thicker. Thicker? Okay. All right, so, let's see. You said you've done a threesome with two guys. What about other women? Mm, that's old. A lot of those. Okay. A lot of that's, those? That's not good. <laughs> those are not good. <laughs> really, why is that? Don't ever have one while you're in a relationship. Don't do that shit. <laughs> really, why is that? It's not the business. Why? Well, maybe in my case, because he got attached to him. Oh, okay. And I want once you fall in love with somebody, you can't sit there and watch them fuck somebody else in your face. Right, okay. You know, it's going to make an interesting argument. <laughs> a very interesting argument, okay. Um. Let's see. Anal. Anal was not a problem. You've done it. First time you did it, what prompted you to do it? What happened to make you decide to try it? He was older and he told me that he didn't, he only like 
I was 14 and he told me he didn't like doing it to girls and they pussy. He only liked doing it to women in their ass. Okay. And I was young, so I did it. Wow. I did it. <laughs> you wasn't scared? I really never been scared when it came to sex. I don't know why. That is a first, especially here. And y'all know me. If y'all know my blogs, y'all know anything I posted, any anything, even in the stuff that I've written, the fictional stuff that I've written, I always, when I'm writing about females from here, it's always about them being so scared, afraid to do stuff. And this is a first. I've never been scared. Wow. I've been seeing sex since I came out the world. And I used to... I just didn't be scared of it. It's natural as fuck. <laughs> okay, I feel you. So what was your first sexual experience? My first sexual experience? Mm hmm Oh, I was 14. I lost my virginity when I was 14. Okay. I didn't start giving head to it like, later on, but... Man, he was old and I just got kicked out of my high school until I went to another school. He was sexy as fuck. Shit, shit, we did it everywhere in the park. Broad daylight outside. I just snuck up into my parents' house. Wow. I was like 14. I was like, <laughs> that was my bull right there. They okay. let me for a white girl. Damn. You know what's crazy? And <laughs> not to, not, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know me, you know, with my, uh, I got blood in me from pretty much every part of the planet, but, I do too, but my thing is, I haven't been able to get a white girl to sit down and interview with me. I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why. Y'all scared? Don't be scared. It's okay. It's okay. I love y'all too. You know, I love everybody. Y'all, y'all good too. But, um, wow. So, your first experience, you were 14. Y'all pretty much did it everywhere. Okay, so if you could tell me, if you could name me the person who, if you have a person who almost every time you guys have sex, this person does it for you, like no matter what, like, if not every time, almost every time y'all fuck, it's always good. Do you have a person like that? Oh, wow. I hope I ain't gonna hurt nobody feelings when I say this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. If y'all worth your salt, hold on, before she answers. Don't get mad if she don't name you. All that mean is step your game up. That's all that mean. That's just a challenge. Not saying that y'all are weak. Y'all could be like maybe a point or two behind. All it mean is step your game up. But go ahead. Well, actually, I only had this person once. Mm hmm And it was just... Yeah. Wow, okay. And who was that? If his, you don't... His name is A-Rod. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, so what are some of your your um, your favorite things about having sex with this guy? What is it that makes it just that good? Oh my God, I don't know, cause I've never really been with somebody my age, and mm -hmm. it's like I don't even know. I don't even know how to put it down right. <laughs> I don't wow, know. I done had thirty-seven year olds, forty year olds, and, and just never quite did it like this guy, huh? Hell no. <laughs> Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, I guess, what are some of your favorite things? Like, if you had to pick a couple of things that you just absolutely love when it comes to sex. Like, love to do or love to have done. Either one, doesn't matter. What would those things be? Well, I don't like my coochie head, so I don't know. I would I would say giving head because I Wait, you said you don't like to get head? Mm -mm. That you know when I asked I asked about that in like the last interview that I did, I asked about that. And people don't think that there are actually women who don't like head. So I'm glad I came across you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I would say me giving head because it tires me out because I know what I'm doing. Okay. So Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, um, I actually, we, we're approaching the 10 minute mark here, so actually, um, I might be coming back to do a little something else with you. It might be a little interesting or whatever, so we'll see. But if I don't, thank you very much. It's been probably one of the most interesting <laughs> interviews I've had. No, fuck that. It is the <laughs> most interesting interview that I've had so far. But, um... Y'all might be seeing her again, so uh, be looking out for it. It's your boy X, man. It's on with y'all.